ahead, let's go! Chalo! Oh, he's outside. Hell yeah! Yeah! That's how you do it! Chalo! This happens right here. Three. And four. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my god, this is the one I was chasing after! Wow! Right. Oh, yes, sir! Yes, sir! Today's video, I am here once again at Oyster Point Marina. And today, my goal is to get my keepers my limit for 2022. And the reason why is because, believe it or not, I was never able to get my limit on halibut. So, that being said, today is my mission to get three keeper halibut. You know, the length of the halibut has to be 22 inches and the maximum daily bag limit is three per person so yeah you know hopefully we can get some halibuts before we start moving forward by targeting different species let's get to it wish me luck all right guys so for my rig setup i'm just going to work with the carolina rig with that double hook rig one octopus on top this is a two odd octopus and on the bottom, I think it's a one-aught triple. If you guys want more information on my rod setup and my rig setup, I'll go ahead and put that description down below. So for today's bait, like usual, I am going to be working with leftover herring. Today is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. The wind is blowing at four miles per hour. It's supposed to pick up around what 1 p.m. and that's when we'll call it a day. Right now we got here at 7:30, 7:30 in the morning. So we got plenty of time to see if we can limit up. All right, there we go. Got the herring in. Let's go ahead and start it then. Oh, fish on, fish on. Halibut for sure, guys. Definitely a keeper halibut, guys. Yes, sir. Oh. Fish! Chahoo! He's gonna bite through the line. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. Okay. He looks kind of undersized. Damn! I almost lost my rod there. Sheesh! I'm getting wet out here, son. All right, buddy. Relax. Oh my goodness. Got him. There we go, guys. Yes! Damn, that's what I'm talking about. I think this is a good 22 inch. Come on. Let's go ahead and remove the fish strips. Close the mouth. Oh, I almost got bit. Go. Oh, we got bit again. Come on, buddy. He doesn't want to close his mouth. Ah, oh, he is short, guys. He 
So yeah, he's an undersized. Let's go ahead and release him. Woohoo! That was fun. back in guys it's getting pretty hectic out here it's getting wet sheesh wrapping it up let's go it's getting too dangerous Woo! Chahoo! <laughs> oh man this is my first experience going through these harsh conditions and I'm trying to keep my kayak at an angle where the waves are not splashing into my my kayak. Yeah, the waves are smashing this way, and I'm trying to go with the waves instead of against the waves. rocking back and forth water was coming in but we made it back safely Whoo! I cannot believe that this happened to us today anyways today was pretty freaking intense man I've never went through this experience before but man next time we had to check the weather like more clear because for the past couple of days dude this is our third time trying to head out you know into open water for halibut and the weather just constantly just constantly it just kept switching on us so yeah today i only had like an hour and a half session because the weather decided to switch up you know out of nowhere but yeah man it was pretty harsh out there dude like i was pretty scared the wind was just too strong man like it was constantly blowing through my mic and like i wasn't able to control my gopro so I knew right there and then that I had to call it a day. I mean, honestly, I was screaming out there like, Go, bro, stop recording! Go, bro, stop recording! Go, bro, start recording! I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. I mean, man, I think I really need to invest in, like, a remote to turn on my GoPro and to turn off my GoPro. Because today's experience was horrible, okay? I was thinking about reaching over, you know, reaching over my kayak, when a kayak was like rocking back and forth and the wind is like pushing me out. But you know, I was thinking in my head like, man, it is not worth it. Let's just, let's just call it a day and we'll come out when the weather starts to calm down. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean my kayak. So after I get done cleaning my kayak, I do want to involve you guys on what I do on a daily basis. Let's get to it. nice and clean you do not want to leave any salt water you know after doing offshore fishing in the bay you really want to clean your trailer and your kayak 
as clean as possible especially you know with all of that water coming in you know into my kayak most definitely have to like you know soap it up spray it up and probably dry it up after um so yeah let's go ahead and put this back in the garage and let's head out to the gym so yeah i really want to um involve you guys in my daily lifestyle so what i love doing you know on a daily basis is going to the gym you know this is how i deal with my depression and my anxiety so yeah sometimes i would go to the gym and then i would go fishing after so yeah let's go ahead and put this away and get dressed well take a shower because i have halibut blood on me and i'm smelling fishy you know i do not want to go to the gym smelling fishy so that being said we have to take a shower get ready and lift some weight let's get to it all right so we are fresh and clean fish free now we are heading to 24 hour fitness um today i kind of want to hit shoulders so first things first we might you know do some yoga and then we'll do like five minute warm-up and after that we'll start hitting the weights let's get to it i can't wait i am excited Today was a mission success and the reason why is because it's not all about going out there going fishing you know catching the fish that you're trying to target trying to get your limit you know it's not all about that you know um, life is about you know enjoying the things that you love most me personally I love fishing okay don't get me wrong I love fishing but what I love most is the gym and I want to include that in my fishing channel to let you guys know that if you're ever like dealing with depression or anxiety, you know, the gym is a place where you can fix that. You know, I've been, you know, going to the gym for five years and let me tell you, I've been through hell and back. Okay. Honestly, when it comes to going to the gym and you guys are constantly like working out at the gym and you're burning all of these calories keep in mind guys that when you burn calories you have to replace calories okay because burning calories don't burn fat eating calories burn fat so keep that in mind guys all right guys so i just got home i am exhausted so right now i'm about to call it i'm about to stuff my face into so many food right now because we burn so many calories Anyways, yeah, if you guys want more information on fitness, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you guys have any suggestion on what species of fish I should target next, please leave a comment down below. I should be targeting bluegill, catfish, or striper. But like I said, if you guys have any suggestion, let me know. Alright guys, I am going to let you guys go. Um, if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time.